Hello, it's Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. In this video, we're going to be going through how you can set up a wireless headset or Bluetooth headset with a Go XLR. And that's with the Go XLR Mini or the full size. It doesn't really matter. The setup's basically the same either way around. Now, if you're anything like me, you picked up the Go XLR and you was like, brilliant, I want to get this running now. Yeah. Let's just plug it in and it'll work. And it kind of works. The XLR microphone was picked up straight away. I was able to plug it in, get the software downloaded for the Go XLR, which is really good software, by the way. A number of different things like that, but couldn't hear anything. In my headset, I couldn't hear anything. So obviously I had to do a little bit of scouting around, look at how to connect this. And there wasn't very much content out there. The content out there was okay, but not great. So I decided to make this video. Hopefully you guys find this really, really useful. There's nothing more frustrating than getting a new piece of hardware and not being able to use Use it because it's not clear what other hardware or wires and stuff you need to configure it so in this video we're going to go through how you set up the go xlr very very briefly i'll do a separate video on more detailed version of how to set up the go xlr i'm then going to go into a little bit of detail about what hardware you actually need and then of course how you can connect your wireless headset to the go xlr and make sure that the software settings are all correct in the headset and on windows and things like that if you do find this useful i do loads of content for streamers content creators stream deck stuff go xlr last stuff audio stuff and of course anything to do with streamlabs obs or obs studio hit the subscribe button feel free to like the video also if you want to ask me any questions at all i do stream most days at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's go then Okay, so first of all, a quick review of what hardware we physically need to get this going. Obviously, you're going to need your Go XLR. It doesn't really matter whether it's a mini or a full-sized one. The only real difference is that some of the jacks are located on the back. The larger one is not powered from the computer. The larger Go XLR, I believe, is powered from the main supply. But other than that, there's not actually a lot of difference in the sort of makeup of the Go XLR. You're obviously going to need some sort of wireless headset, and it doesn't really matter whether it's a Logitech, whether it's a Corsair, whether it's a Razer. Loads of different headsets out there that you can use i'm using here the corsair virtuoso vir virtuoso vir 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 so i don't know how it's said I'll, I'll link it in the description okay but this should work with most bluetooth headsets um and the reason why will become clear later in the video so even things like ipods and things like that should work assuming you've got some sort of bluetooth receiver which brings me to my next point you obviously need a receiver for that headset there needs to be a way that your headset can communicate with your computer You're going to need a 3.5 headphone jack to a 3.5 headphone jack and that allows the go xlr to communicate with the pc there's an optional ground loop isolator gli you only really need to use this if you're experiencing some humming noises between the line out of the go xlr and the line in on the pc this can just ground some of the static noises it's completely optional you may not need it but it only costs something like five to ten dollars so i bought this anyway and that's kind of it from the hardware side of things so to set this up make sure that your go xlr is connected to your xlr microphone and of course that your microphone is properly plugged in obviously this video isn't about setting up a microphone but you want to make sure that that's all set up properly connect via usb back of the go xlr to the back of your computer make sure it's plugged into a usb 3 and make sure it's also not going through a pass through like a power pass through because you may experience some issues if your go xlr's on like for instance the front of your pc or like a extender or a usb like connector so your go xlr is fully set up in terms of its physical self now you need to plug the 3.5 headphone jack into the headphone line out that's indicated in green it will be on the back of the Go XLR full size or the front of the Go XLR Mini as shown here. This just means that a signal can be outputted to headphones. Now, if you are using just standard 3.5 headphones, that is all you need is just to plug it into the front of the headphones. But as we're using wireless, of course, there are no wires. So that wire needs to get connected to the back of the PC. And as seen here on my very dusty back of PC, you plug this into the line in, which is indicated in blue on the back of your computer. Now you can either plug this in directly or you can first plug the 3.5 jack into one side of the GLI and then the other side of the GLI then gets connected to the computer. So it just depends on whether or not you've got that. It's completely optional. Again, it just depends on how much static you're getting, if any. So now the Go XLR is fully set up and it can communicate a signal into the line in input on the PC. We've done the hardware set up fully here. We now need to just look at the software and make sure that that's fully set up. So to set this up in Windows, we need to right click the speaker icon here and go to sound settings. Set your sound output 
input to output to the system. So that means that the system sounds are being output. Input method needs to be, you can use chat mic as an input method long term, but just to configure this, you want to use the line in input. So select the line in input just to make a configuration here. Then within sound control panel, you should see a number of different options that are new as a result of the Go XLR, like the game chart music sample. And this is the Go XLR working its magic, whether it's the full size or the mini, it splits up all these lines and allows a lot more degree of control. And by the time this video goes live, there'll more than likely be a number of other videos I'll have for splitting your music off, splitting your Discord off, and splitting your system and game chart and things like that off as well. What we want to do here is go into the recording tab, and we want to go to the line in and right click this and go into properties. And in the listen tab, and this is indicating what we're listening to, we need to click listen to this device on the line in. Now bear in mind, we've connected the Go XLR from a line out through the headphone jack to a line in on the PC. So we're listening to the line in. That's exactly what's happening here. And all you need to do here is select your headset as the listening device. So for me, this is the Corsair. Make sure that this is ticked and click OK. Once you've done that, everything should be fine. You should be able to hear through the headset. There are a couple of troubleshooting issues. Obviously, you want to make sure that there is a proper connection between your wireless headset and the dongle, the wireless dongle receiver. If the wireless dongle is being received properly, it'll be lit up or whatever. And this doesn't matter whether it's Logitech or Corsair or any other brand, the headset itself needs to be working. So you need to test that the headset is working. This is particularly important for people that are also having like a new headset along with the new Go XLR. It may be the case that the Go XLR is set up perfectly, but actually the headset itself is not receiving. So all the connections are made through to the dongle, but then the dongle is not actually sending or receiving a signal from the headset. So make sure that that's set up properly by testing it without the Go XLR. With the ground loop isolator, if you find that you're having trouble with that, just take it out and try it without. That could cause an issue potentially, but I don't think it would. To be honest, it's more likely to improve the sound than make it worse or make it not exist. If your headset is a quite an older headset or the Bluetooth capability of your headset has got like a delay on it, that could also cause cause issues for you as well. My recommendation there would be, particularly if you're a broadcaster, is to try your best to invest in a headset that has a, a much lower latency on it. One other thing I just want to quickly go into is the Go XLR app. Within the Go XLR app, you can also do some routing here. You want to make sure that the inputs are correctly mapped to the outputs. You want to make sure that the headphones can hear chat. You've got your chat mapped to the chat toggle here. You will not be able to hear it if this is toggled off. The same with the music, game, console, wire in system and samples. Remember, we've set the output to be system. So if this isn't toggled on, even if the output in Windows is set, the Go XLR app will actually stop your headset from hearing the system sounds. So you will still not hear anything. Or maybe you might hear your chat or your music or your microphone, but you will not hear the system sound. So just make sure that this is ticked on the routing. If you find that you're hearing your own microphone and you don't want to hear your own microphone speech after you've obviously said it, because you hear you actually hear your own voice as well at the same time, just make sure that this is toggled off and you won't hear two versions of it. A couple of other things you possibly have a super duper rocketry powered amazing nerdy computer that has multiple line ins if you've got multiple line ins then obviously you need to find the line in that has received the signal from the go xlr you just need to experiment and check which one of those line ins is the correct one that you've plugged in if you've only got one line in then you probably only see one line in function here you can also right click on properties for the line in go into the advanced tab and just make sure that all of your output formats are all matched here as well this probably won't cause an issue and I didn't find an issue with this, but these two channel 16 bits, 48,000 hertz DVD quality, if these are mismatched, particularly if your drivers are not updated, this can cause issue and may prevent you from hearing anything here. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys have found this really, really useful. Personally, I've absolutely loved my Go XLR. Hopefully you guys are having a really good time with it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Take care.